Hi, my name is Katie Trimmel, and I'm here today to talk to you about a product that I absolutely love named Equa Resp. This product is wonderful for respiratory issues. It is an equine nebulizer, and I'm here with Tonda Collins, the owner and creator, to talk to you a little bit about it, and she's going to answer all of our questions. Let's talk a little bit about your wonderful product, the silver. What makes this silver better than so many other silvers that are on the market right now? Because I know I've Googled it and there are a ton of these products. Why should we go with this silver instead of some of the others? That's a great question. First of all, I'm so happy to bring this to the mass market. This has been kind of a little secret in the thoroughbred racing world over in Lexington and Louisville. The Equisilver is a patented process. It's been uh, available for about 10 years. We have a lot of the largest vet clinics in the world using them, including Rudin Riddle and Haggard's. They sell this out of their pharmacy. So we know that they would not be using this on multi-million dollar horses if they did not have absolute proof that it worked. There are other colloidal silvers, and a lot of people are trying to market colloidal silver, but there is no study, no documentation on any of the other products. Equisilver is the only product in the horse world that has true documented results. And that's why we're happy to bring it to you, uh, to the general market. Wonderful. So even though there are different silvers out there, silvers out there, this is the one that most of the vets really stand behind and you can prove what's in this. Absolutely. All right, so now I'm going to take my silver and I'm going to add it to my cup. There's a fill line on here to make it super easy to know exactly where you need to fill to. All right. I'm going to add it to my cup, to the mask, I'm going to screw it on. Then we're going to take our mask and put it on the horse. I would like to do it this way, that way everything is set up and easy to go and the horse doesn't get scared. So I'm going to reach it around my horse. Sometimes they can get a little scared the first couple times you put it on. So I try to be as patient as possible. And just slide it over. It's got a very easy strap, so you can simply clamp it down and it's where it needs to be. You can adjust this up or down on the horse, so if you have a really small horse, it'll go up higher. If you have a very large horse, it'll go down. So this mask fits almost any size horse. Works out great for everything. It's got a real cushy rubber piece inside, so it will expand to a large horse or it will close in for a very small muzzled horse. Okay, so let's say my horse has no illnesses whatsoever. It's never been a bleeder, never had a respiratory infection. Is this a product that would help my horse as well? Absolutely, and that's one of the reasons we brought this to market. Is any horse that's out there competing, whether they're equestrian events, rodeo, barrel racing, tri whatever, they are getting respiratory problems. Just think of yourself in a dusty, dirty barn all day and how you feel. Just think if you had to be asked to run your hardest with all that in your system. Your horse is feeling the same way. So by nebulizing up to two hours prior to a run, you're cleaning out everything in that horse's system. Think of the horse that gets antsy when they're in the alleyway or they, they get a lot of anxiety before they run. Most people start thinking that it's, a resp that it's a muscular skeletal issue when actually it's a respiratory. The horses are anticipating not being able to breathe. So by cleaning out their system, you're doing nothing but helping your horse. So this could actually aid in a horse that has alley issues. Best, yes. And a lot of times we see horses that will run really hard in the pattern, but they don't want to run home. And that could also be an issue with the ability to breathe. Right. They've used up their, their what's in their lungs. They cannot breathe anymore. They've got too much uh, respiratory problems and too much dust, dirt, and pollutants in their system. Same thing as you. If you get out there and try to run, after breathing all that in, you're not going to be at your best either. Okay, so um, on a horse that has nothing wrong with it, just a horse that we're competing on, how often should I use this product? Once a week and then uh, up to two hours prior to a race. That way, once a week, you're keeping anything cleaned out of their system, you're keeping their respiratory tract uh, nice, nice and healthy, and then before you race, you're getting rid of anything that, while they've been trailering or sitting in a stall, you're getting rid of anything that's in their system uh, there. Okay, can I over nebulize my horse? With anything, too much of a good thing is too much. You can always overdo anything. Will it hurt your horse? No. There's nothing in it. It's 100% natural silver, 
so, and distilled water. So there's nothing in the product that will hurt your horse. However, the time that it takes the horse, it's not a good thing to ever overdo the protocols. Okay, and so we can always consult our veterinarian and find out what he thinks would be good for each individual horse as well, right? Absolutely. The nice thing about this product is when people have gone and talked to their vets, the vets have encouraged them to use it because they know the, the value of the silver and the value of nebulizing. Wonderful. So this is something that I know my vet personally loves. So anybody should talk to their vet about it and find out what would be the best protocol for their horse on a daily basis. Most definitely. Okay, so let's say that I have a diagnosed bleeder. I've taken my horse to the vet, had it scoped, and done all the protocol that they tell you to do to find out that your horse is a bleeder. Is this a product that can actually help my horse stop bleeding or aid in it in the pain of bleeding? Absolutely, because silver is an antimicrobial, antibacterial, and fungal. A lot of the bleeding is caused by an infection or a virus. So the silver actually attaches itself to the organism in the, in the uh, airway and takes it out or kills it. So we've had tremendous results with the uh, Equisilver in this product. We have case studies and we have a ton of testimonials of, of it tremendously helping bleeders. Okay, so this is a product that I should definitely get with my veterinarian and this would be something that would really help my horse if he was a bleeder. Most definitely. Wonderful. So I know that on the tracks, like in Louisville and Kentucky, a lot of the horses that are bleeders are using this product and seeing miraculous changes. Absolutely. It's actually the only product that can be used day of race at Churchill Downs. We have documentation from the uh, Kentucky Racing Commission that it can be used day of race, which to me is huge. Yeah, there's hardly any products that can be used and they even don't really like using Lasix, so this product would be phenomenal for race horses, jumpers, barrel horses, anything that is competing has a likelihood of being a bleeder. So this could definitely help our horses in the progress. Everybody wants to keep their horse from bleeding, so this would be great for um, preventive medicine and for treatment of bleeding because there really aren't many treatments for bleeding right now. Absolutely. Okay, so once my 30 minute session is up with this horse, I'm going to remove the mask very easily. Open up the clamp, I'm going to slide it off my horse's nose. We're going to remove the clean, lay everything down, take the horse out of the area. Okay, so I know that you said that we can use this in the winter and in the summer, and in Oklahoma we know that we have hot, hot, and cold, cold. So this product is going to work in the heat and in the cold? Yes, but there are limitations to any product that you're using out there that is a, a compressor like this. Typically between 40 to 115 is the range. However, you will have some issues with the tubing because it is a soft plastic. They are going to contract and also expand. So that's why sometimes you might have to use a zip tie to keep this attached to the uh, compressor. Uh, you don't want to hard, hard tie this in because you're going to be changing out this tubing in medicine cups. And also something that um, I like about just simply putting a zip tie on is that if my horse was to break free or pull back, this will still pop off and I don't have to worry about harming my compressor because you want the compressor to stay safe. So I like the longer cord so I can move it away from the horse and my horses stay safe all the time. And then if it does pull back, this will simply pop off and the horse can be free. And I don't have to worry about injury on my horse or endangering the compressor. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk a second about safety here. Now, one thing I know that you worked really hard on is to make this safe for if a horse gets in a bind or if he gets scared. So we can simply flick this and it falls off. We don't have to worry about the product breaking and we don't have to worry about our horse freaking out. So another great part is it's so easy to put back on and the buckle is really, really safe. So when I put this on my horse, do I need to leave him in the barn by himself or is this something I need to kind of keep an eye on? That's a very good question. Most people, because of the length of time that it takes to nebulize a horse, would like to walk off. But we never, ever advocate leaving a horse with any type of apparatus on them. There's too many chances of them doing something uh, to themselves or harming themselves. This is actually a great time to spend with your horse 
brushing them, cleaning their feet, doing all the different things that you do for maintenance, and letting them nebulize at the same time. Uh, that is the, the protocol that we suggest. What people do with their horses is up to them, but we do not su suggest that you have, ever leave a horse with any type of apparatus on them. Okay, and do I have to worry about anything on this breaking? If I do come into a bind and I have to fling this off of my horse and let it fall, do I have to worry about this breaking? Absolutely not. That's one thing that we did when we designed this. We made this a very soft plastic that is flexible. Uh, everything will pop off if a horse did get into a bind. It's tight enough to stay on while they're working, but if a horse really pulled back, the medicine cup is going to fall off. All you have to do is flick the, uh, the, the buckle on the side, and it's literally a one-finger flick, and it will fall off the horse. Wonderful. Now, let's say that something happens, because we all know accidents and things happen. Um, is all of this replaceable? Can I buy replacements for this or do I have to buy this whole apparatus again? No, everything is separate. You can buy different compressors, you can buy the different uh, medicine cups and tubing. We try to make it as simple for the horse owner as possible. Okay, so if any part of this breaks, I can simply get a hold of you or go to your website and I can order replacements. Yes. Wonderful. So just a couple questions I have for you before we finish this up. Now, I know we talked about earlier the use of this product with a horse that's a bleeder. And I know that most bleeders are recommended by your veterinarian to use Lasix. This product you said used two hours prior to race. Will this hinder the use of our Lasix? Absolutely not. It's 100% natural. There's nothing in it that will uh, combine or react with the Lasix. Okay, so we're fine then to give our horse our Lasix, you know, absolutely depending on what your vet says, but. For most veterinarians, it's four hours prior to race, and then I can use this two hours prior, and it's not going to affect my Lasix whatsoever. Absolutely not. What this is going to do is help clean out your horse's respiratory system. Wonderful. So you can go to www.equiresp.com to order these products, and please feel free to hashtag Equi-Resp. We would love to see your pictures, hear your stories, and know how your horses are doing. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to call Tonda or go to our website or you can email her. Look her up on Facebook. We're so happy to help you any chance we get.